What is up to a Patriot Ranch family? Welcome back to the ranch today for another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Q Sugar Weasel. Stay tuned. This video today is brought to you by Combat Iron Apparel. You can use the code 2A Patriot for 15% off your order at combatironapparel.com. You guys know we are huge fans of them. The channel here, we are all about God, guns, and freedom. This hat, God, guns, and freedom from Combat Iron Apparel, as well as some of the coolest shirts in the business. We love you guys. You should love them too. Combatironapparel.com. Use code 2A Patriot for 15% off. First off, guys, I want to apologize in advance. As you can hear, I still have not got my voice back. It's been about three weeks now. Um, don't know what's going on, but I'm going to grin and bear it here. Uh, we have a ton of reviews to get out to you guys, and so didn't want to miss one. Today, we are looking at the Q Sugar Weasel. I picked this up about two and a half, three weeks ago now, I believe. Man, I couldn't be more impressed. It is a hell of a gun. Q obviously makes the Honey Badger and the Fix uh, generally known for some higher priced items. This rifle is, uh, I guess you would call it in their budget line uh, at $1,600. I don't know if I necessarily call it budget, but budget for Q. What you're getting here for around the $1,600 price point is almost unparalleled in this business. Let's just start as uh, Grand Thumb would say, butts to nuts. And uh, on the back, we've got some Magpul furniture. It's an SLK stock with a six position buffer tube. There is on these SLKs, there is a spot where you can put a QD attachment. I choose to just run my sling right through it like that. It doesn't really bother me at all. Moving up forward, we've got a Reptilia uh, grip on it. At first I didn't like it, but it's starting to grow on me and I'm thinking I kind of dig it right now. I actually went out and got a uh, Reptilia riser as well as the Reptilia QD points just because I, I really did start to like that. Moving on here, we've got a Radian safety selector. It is set at 70 degrees on both sides, and they are both the stubbies. I will tell you, I do prefer my thumb side to be longer uh, than my index side. The index one, I don't mind this. Thumb, I like to have something, but the 70 degree Radian, you really can't get much better than that. Also comes with a Radiant charging, ha charging handle. This is the Radiant Raptor HB. Uh, as you can see for the trolls, this gun is clear. We have adorned this with an XPS 2. I don't know if this is going to stay on here or not. I might swap this out and put like a 1 to 6 or 1 to 8 on here. The lower receiver is a clear anodized. It looks brilliant in the sunlight uh this thing is just a really really good looking gun the trigger is called literally the best trigger ever now i haven't tried every trigger on the market so i don't know if it's literally the best trigger ever what i will say it's probably the best one i've ever shot and that goes with shooting uh, Geisley SSAs, the um, G2S, you, you know, Rise Armament, um, CMC. 
this literally the best trigger ever is is definitely the best one i've shot on the ar platform comes in at a two and a half pound pull and it is drop safe normally when you get down into the the competition ish style pull weights they're generally not drop safe they've specifically designed this one to be drop safe and as you can see i'll come in a little bit closer here it's got a nice little curvature at the end so you don't get any finger slippage um, but straight bow so that your finger rests so completely across the vertical grains it is completely ambidextrous uh, those of you guys that are familiar with the um geisley maritime you can see on the back side here as well moving forward the upper here and the handrail it is an m-lock handrail it is a full length 15 inch handrail with m-lock on all angles i love that i don't think you can ever get enough m-lock spots on a rifle you start adding lights and lasers and qd points and all that stuff you know you really start running out of space quickly but this thing man there's a there's a million spots on it also you can see their kind of proprietary locking mechanism on the bottom to keep the free float handguard attached to the receiver this thing is sturdy there is no wiggle or play in this thing at all um, it does not move. So they did a really, really good job. They have a specific name for it. I can't remember it right off the top of my head. I'll put it down in the comments below. Moving even forward across that, on the tip here, this muzzle device is called their Cherry Bomb. This thing is uh, for their suppressors as well. So it'll direct, um, direct thread the Q line of suppressors i believe it's like the trash panda and uh something chicken i don't know they got funky names for all their stuff um but it is a pretty cool muzzle device on here uh, the barrel the barrel itself is actually coated as well it does have a mid-length profile with an adjustable gas block i absolutely love that like if you're going to make this gun and you're going to put you know the cherry bomb on here and you're going to run suppressors and you're going to have the nice radiant charging handle you're going to want to have that adjustable gas block and sure enough they put it on there for you i have right now a bcm qd attach point you know i go back and forth of whether i like when companies put the like a qd mount into the handrail or not you know geisley does it they have their big ring circle one i kind of like that but this also gives you the flexibility too that if you want to run uh two sling points you could run one back or run one forward and switch back and forth depending on you know how you're carrying at that moment uh, but i have the bcm one on here i have a uh mag pull I forget which model of sling this is. This is the first one of these that I've got, um, but I like the color that kind of went with the sugar weasel here. So I got this thing in gray. Overall, a very, very, very solid bill. When you look at the features on this gun for the price point of right around 1600 bucks, I mean, I don't even know how, I don't even know how they did it um, because it has phenomenal function on it. All right, so let's take a closer look at that trigger. We'll give her a little charge. I will pull it from the back here. You've got about a quarter inch of take up. Hit that wall, really, really solid wall. There's no mush or anything in there at all. And two and a half pounds to that. And then let's give her another charge. Let's check out that reset. Boom, you're already at reset and ready to go again. You know, some people like to call these the safe queens. You know, when you see pictures of them on Instagram, they're with pretty girls or sitting in a safe because they are absolutely gorgeous rifles. This, the Honey Badger, the Fix. I mean, they're just beautiful, beautiful guns. But what I will say is, this thing is built you could use it as a duty weapon you could use it as a competition gun you can use it just to go plink it out on the range that's what we're gonna do today with it because there is no way in hell 
something this amazing is going to sit in my safe. We're going to get out here. We're going to run it through some drills. We're going to put it to the test. We're going to see how this thing fires. So stay tuned. Let's get on to some shooting. All right, folks, that is all we have for the Q Sugar Weasel today. Cannot say enough great things about this gun right here. Fires like a champ, feels great in the hand. It may literally be the best trigger ever. Uh, probably gonna go out and put one of the Q suppressors on this thing. Absolutely amazing gun for the price point, 1600 bucks, can't beat it. I got this one here uh, from my good friends down at Arsenal Arms in Homestead, Florida. If you were in the area, stop by, see Wayne or Danny, tell them John sent you in. Great, great guys over there. Until next time, do us a favor. We really need this favor, guys. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so we can beat the algorithm together. We. The 2A community are getting banned on YouTube. We're getting banned on Instagram. We're getting banned on Facebook. They're trying to take away your ability to get this type of information. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Until next time, I'm John from 2A Patriot Ranch.